unfortunately, it is really, really rare to see it. And we're so used to seeing a group of men on screen. We don't question why is it all men, a group of soldiers or a group of scientists working together. And how radical it is to just see a group of women together. Yeah, I thought that was kind of really intriguing for me because I hadn't really done that. And also these movies do usually have, are usually more male centric. Um, there might be like one woman. Top three grossing films of last year were all with women at the center Hello. in the form of Wonder Woman, Star Wars, right? But we see in all the years that precede it in 2015, there wasn't one all-female ensemble. There was one, they were all white. In 2016, there wasn't one. So unfortunately, this is something that is really, really rare. It's a revelation. So I think for all of us, even though it should just be normalized, you get that script and you go, wow, okay. Yes. Like, this is an opportunity that is uh, that I have never been presented with, really, and, and might not be again too soon. But I was definitely training for this one in particular because Jane is vastly different physically. I got to do really cool stunt training. I got to uh, physically, like, I always wanted a really heavy backpack, same with Tessa, so that we can constantly be working out uh, while we are doing the movie. Well, we all, all the women together had these sort of like automatic weapon shooting days where we would be like, you know, having to walk forward and shoot our machine guns. We've sent in drones and teams of people, but nothing comes back. Anything interesting in there? No. Well, I hope that that is part of where we're going and part of how um, our industry is sort of reckoning with itself is thinking about who's getting to tell the stories, who the stories are about, um, you know, and, and trying to be more reflective of the society who's watching this, these movies.